Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, and today's video is for entertainment only. Today, the Fed raised the federal funds rate 25 basis points, and the markets were green prior to that announcement, and they turned red pretty quick thereafter during the FOMC press conference. A red day for crypto. Tron down 10.7, Immutable X down 7.5, the Graph down 5.8, Bitcoin down 3.1, the central and mana down 5%, Cardano down 3.7%, Curve down 4.9, Ethereum down 4.6, XE Infinity down 4.9, Trust Wallet down 3.6, XRP down 8.9, Cosmos down 4.5. The NASDAQ, when the news came in, this is a 15 minute chart on tradingview.com. And uh, when the news came in, you can see very indecisive, big wick on this uh, 15 minute candle turned into a uh, uh, inverted hammer did move up a little from there, but again, a lot of indecision in this candle right before or right after the FOMC press conference started and we dropped from there. People didn't like what they heard from Fed Chair Powell, uh, apparently looking at this NASDAQ chart. And so Bitcoin did similar thing, very indecisive candle right at the announcement. FOMC press conference starts and dropped down. We got down to around 26,600. Now we're back up to 27,236 for Bitcoin. But looking at that news on CryptoPotato.com, despite fears surrounding the U.S. banking sector, the Fed has, allowed, has followed through on its plans to quell inflation with an interest rate hike of 25 basis points. The decision takes the Fed's policy interest rate up to a range of 4.75 to 5. CPI inflation in February was 6, which the Fed seeks to bring back to 2% by keeping interest rates high. So the total crypto market cap, same kind of thing, very indecisive can, uh, candle right there at the announcement. Little body, big wick, big tail, and then the uh, meeting came in and it dropped down. So from before the meeting, where were we up here right near the 1.16, uh, actually 1.169 uh, in right, uh, when the announcement came in to the lowest point today, dropped about 6%, just using the measuring tool, about $70 billion in total market cap. Uh, but looking at total market cap blowing out and looking in a wider time frame from back at the peak in November of 2021, coming down to where we started consolidating in this real narrow range in June of 22 to where we are now, right up near the top, sitting at the resistance trying to break through 1.18 trillion. And right now we're at 1.12 trillion in this weekly candle on tradingview.com for total market cap. It's gonna close, this candle is gonna close in three days and 23 hours. So looking at the longer time frames, this is a pretty small event. Looking at it in a 15 minute, big drop looks, uh, looks like a lot. But again, when you blow out, not a big deal. Still sitting right up near the resistance line of this uh, uh, channel that we've been trading in for some time for total. Looking at the altcoin market, same kind of thing, indecisive candle, dropped quite a bit. So we dropped down from right here to about the low, just using the measuring tool, about 4.6%, 28 billion. We dropped down to a low of around 583.4 billion. But we're back up to 592 billion for total two, which is um, uh, total cryptocurrency market cap minus Bitcoin. So again, blowing out and looking at total two from the peak in November of 2021 down to where we are now in this downtrending channel that started back in May of 2022. We're right up near resistance. And so just a blip on the radar screen when you look at it from this perspective versus this perspective. Bitcoin, the same kind of thing. This looked like a massive drop, but when we put it in perspective of the box charts and looking at the various halvings, I uh, don't even see it in the box chart on this monthly box chart. And we're still up uh, 30, 48% so far this year as we move into the halving four cycle. And we're in this uh, pre-halving summer time where it's flatter. And then we have the halving event sometime in late April, 2024. And then we have the post having where it becomes much more parabolic. And even if we went up here in between the two, um, in between the two fractals, we'd still be up around a half a million dollar 
Bitcoin by October, November of 2025. In further news on CryptoNewsFlash.com, Ripple's XRP ledger on the cusp of a major upgrade that could propel it to be the go-to network for smart contracts. XRP ledger uses proof of association, POA, consensus model, also dubbed Federated Byzantine Consensus Protocol. Each node within the POA network has to create a list of trusted nodes to consult while seeking consensus. Ripple calls this list of trusted nodes a unique node list, UNL. Thus, to take part in the consensus, a validator first needs to earn the trust of other nodes, and it cannot rely alone on financial resources. A node not having the trust of the other nodes won't be part of the UNL, and thus won't have any influence over the system. Also, the POA system won't require a lot of hardware, and therefore brings down operations and electric costs. So looking at further news on CryptoPotato.com, multi-chain non-fungible token NFT marketplace Magic Eden has launched a fully audited marketplace on the Bitcoin network. As interest in ordinal NFTs continues to grow, ordinals are NFTs inscribed in the witness portion of ETC transactions. The inscriptions can be images or videos and they leverage the Taproot soft fork. They also, also used to number Satoshis on the Bitcoin protocol are also used to number Satoshis on the Bitcoin protocol. The launch of ordinal NFTs increased user activity on Bitcoin as users with non-zero Bitcoin balances found a non-monetary purpose to be on the network. So again, looking at um, all coins that we have on our shopping list, well, up coins, Bitcoin and all coins that we have on our shopping list. You can take a picture of this. This is where we would be looking to accumulate these various tokens, we like all these tokens. Again, this isn't financial, advi financial advice. This data could contain errors and you should always do your own research. But uh, you can take a picture of this as you, if you like. We like these tokens and we'd be accumulating at these levels for these tokens. So thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit that notification bell so you get uh, new videos and share it with others. Today's video is for entertainment and education purposes only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.